edged and between the keeper and the slip. Oh, that's really unfair. He's bowled superbly in the opening over, edged away for four, and it's 12 without loss after two. Oh, I think that just reiterates a bit of a point, because I don't think that carried. I don't think that carried at all. But I don't think it even carried as far as Tom Latham. Yeah, well, it, he, he might have been able to go hard left for it, but... Uh, Good appeal, good shout, and he's got him. Going right across to a full delivery. Didn't seem to be too much doubt about that one. And a good first wicket for New Zealand and Trent Bolt. Yeah, full swinging in. The discussion here is, is it missing leg? I don't think they're going to waste a review on this because it looked to me, it was full, hit him on the full, around about just below shin height, just above the boots, possibly leg stump. Yeah, I think so. I don't see any problem with that. And I think this will be cannoning into leg stump. Yeah, right there. So no problem at all. Trent Bolt into his second over, picks up his first one-day international wicket with a little bit of swing back in, and Johnson Charles goes for 15, 19 for one. Looking to go over long off. This time the catch should be taken, coming in. It's over. New Zealand completing victory, bringing to an end their miserable run at the start of this tour. The West Indies continue with their losing streak at Warner Park, and the Digicel One Day International Series remains alive. But well, they've persevered, New Zealand, and uh, they've reaped the rewards of some hard work. The final catch series now 2-1 to the West Indies with